Hello viewers, in today's tutorial, I want to teach you how to do linear regression in GraphPad Prism 7. So for this tutorial, I will use sample data right out of GraphPad Prism 7. So here we have our sample data. On our data table, we have the x variable, which represents time in minutes. And we have y values in two main groups, A and B. Group A consists of control values and group B treated values. Now let's take a look at the graph. Now here on the graph we can see the two groups of data points corresponding to the control with the circle dots and treated with the square dots. The aim of linear regression is to find the line of best fit which is the line that passes through most of the data points. And when we have done that, also to find the equation of the line of best fit, which we can use to predict the values of y given any value of x. So now I will show you how to find the line of best fit. First, select your data table and click analyze. Then select linear regression. Make sure all your data groups are checked. Click OK. So some of the important options here are what, how to treat replicate values. So one option says to consider each replicate y value as an individual point and the other only consider the mean y value of each point. So what this option is going to do is plot the mean of the triplicate values of y. So each data point is going to represent the mean of three values. With this option, it will plot each of the three values on the graph. Another important option here is output. This option, if checked, will output a list of x values and their corresponding y values based on the equation of the line of best fit which will be estimated by the end of this analysis. There are other options here to specify at which point on the x line you want the regression line or the line of best fit to start from. But in this tutorial, I will leave everything to the default value. Let's click OK. So right here, we have the output of our analysis. So here, we have the slope of the line of best fit, the y-intercept, the x-intercept, as well as the inverse of the slope. Here are 95% confidence intervals and one important parameter which is the R square tells you what percentage of your data points can be explained by the line of best fit. The closer the value is to 1, the better. Now below here we have the equation of the line. Now let's take a look at the graph. So here we can see the line of best fit for our two data groups. Now just a quick um, graph design tip here. Uh, since they are both the same color, we can change the color for each data group. All you have to do is just double click on one of the points.
okay so I can choose one of the data groups and select the color I want here I will choose green and click apply immediately you can see the color has changed now let's go here and select the treated data group we can change the color to light blue or blue and hit apply and we can immediately see the color change okay. this table here gives you a list of x values and their corresponding y values based on the equation of the line that was estimated right here so one use of this table is you can quickly look up a particular value of x and find its corresponding y value for instance if we want to wanted to know what will be the corresponding value of y if x is 9.325 then we could just look it up if you like this tutorial please like subscribe and share see you in the next tutorial